Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little over a week since I've uploaded a video, um, and that is mostly because last week I had the stomach flu. Thank heavens it wasn't that other thing. And um, now that I'm finally back on my feet and kind of back out in the world, everything is really strange. There's not really much of a world to go back out into. Things are changing very quickly um, on the whole planet right now, and I think a lot of us are feeling overwhelmed, and a lot of us are are having a hard time finding a sense of optimism or feeling a sense of control over anything. I know that I have definitely felt those feelings in the last several days. And I was thinking about what would be the first video that I would film and upload once I finally got myself back on YouTube. And it just seemed like a good time to sit down and open some good old fashioned Disney magic mail and chit chat a little bit with you all and kind of have a sense of like hanging out and acting normal and a little bit of a throwback to kind of my channel of, of years past and that's kind of the vibe that I'm, I'm feeling today. I will let you know that I'm sitting in my Disney office for one of the, the last times um, my husband and I are eventually going to put our house on the market and in preparation for that we have to turn my office into a bedroom for staging purposes and so I'm going to be dismantling my filming area so probably over the next couple of videos you'll see a transition to some kind of new makeshift filming space. Um, I know it seems like a weird time to try to sell your house, but before the whole coronavirus COVID-19 thing, that was the plan and the, the path that we were on. And um, even though things are kind of on hold, we're still doing what we can, um, which is kind of all that we all can do. We all can just put one foot in front of the other and um, still have goals and still take care of ourselves and still, you know, take care of each other. And hopefully we will all come out of the other end of this stronger and more resilient um, and more confident in our own ability to do hard things and um, hopefully the world will be um a healthy place again soon. So I think that's all I'm gonna say about that for now. What I do have to share with you today is um, some magic mail. As always, forever and always, I'm behind on my magic mail. But um, I pulled out a few packages that I wanted to share with you today. And I've got some cool goodies. A lot of it is from Disney Small Shops. I think it's a wonderful time um, to still support small businesses and small makers and, um, and small business owners if you have the means to do so and I am actually not working right now my yoga studio is closed down so this is the best thing that I can do to support um, a couple small makers uh, in in the way that I can okay that was a long intro but um, I want to start with a company that does really cute t-shirts who reached out to me recently they are called thread tank and they reached out to me because they had launched a Disney collection and the whole idea behind thread tank is that it's stories you can wear so they do Disney shirts and tanks and sweatshirts but also like other fandoms and and kind of other niches as well and I'm gonna start just by sharing the shirt that I'm wearing today which um, is one of the shirts I picked out from them um, which I thought was a very good shirt for the times we are in right now. It says, have courage and be kind. Have courage and be kind. And this is a ladies size small and it's very high quality. And I just thought that the, the live action Cinderella have courage and be kind motto was um, something to bring forth on this channel and out into the world right now. I'm planning to wear this around a lot in the coming weeks. Not that I'm gonna be going out much, but like maybe to the grocery store, <laughs> maybe when I take a walk with my dog. Um, but yeah, so this is from Thread Tank and I actually picked out two more from them. And they came very neatly packaged in this kind of like brown paper which doesn't look good now because I opened it to get this shirt out um, but it has a cute sticker that says stories you can wear and um, the other two shirts I picked out I actually picked out um, as gifts to give to people in my life so this one I picked out for me and I think I could not have picked a more appropriate thing for the times that we are living in um, but then I'm gonna show you the two other shirts and they have a whole bunch of like different Disney shirts and um, and awesome things but this one is for my mom who recently became a grandmother my sister had a baby last summer and so I'm an auntie and my mom is a, is a grandma for the first time and this one is for my mom and I think she's going to love it it says 
fairy grandmother or fairy grandmother and it's got a cute little wand so this is of course another cinderella um themed t-shirt so i thought maybe if i end up seeing my sister and the baby in the next you know a couple of weeks but well, we're all being very careful right now um that i could wear my cinderella shirt and my mom could wear her fairy grandmother shirt and i i don't know what i was thinking i was just thinking along the lines of being themey and cute but um mom if you're watching this is for you fairy grandmother and uh, i believe this is a ladies size large which should fit her very well and it's the same fabric that um, I'm wearing right now it's like really soft and like um, it's not like thick and stiff fabric it's like really kind of loose and easy breezy kind of t-shirt I think it's a very flattering fabric so I'm excited to give this to my mom I'm excited to wear these together and the third and final shirt that um, thread tank sent to me is a shirt that I picked out for my friend Pam who um, I was planning to travel to Disney World with in May and unfortunately um, we have canceled our travel plans due to all the things that are going uh, on in the world but I will be sending this shirt to Pam for her birthday in May wait till you see it and this might actually be my favorite of the bunch that I ordered I thought it was really clever and fun um, and I actually got Pam the uh, the darker color this is their cute tag by the way it says stories you can wear I got the darker like more charcoal color because Pam likes dark colors <laughs> And this is a Toy Story and more specifically like a Buzz Lightyear uh, space reference and it says not today zerg which i think is really funny and i actually think this is also really appropriate for the weird stuff that's going on in the world right now namely the coronavirus crisis because this is kind of the attitude that we all have to take like we could let this you know overcome and overwhelm us and we just have to say you know not today zerg or not today satan or not today death or not today coronavirus so I'm really, really excited to send this one to my friend Pam. And I want to say a big thanks to Thread Tank for reaching out and offering to send me some shirts. They did give me a coupon code. It is Kitty10, and you can save 10% off an order from Thread Tank if you'd like. Um, this isn't sponsored beyond the fact that they just gifted me the shirts to, to share with you and to share with my friends, um, but I'm not paid for this or anything like that. Um, but I really do like these, and I really love my Have Courage and Be Kind. So. Uh, yeah awesome piece of magic mail and everything kind of worked out so well in terms of um, the gifts that I wanted to give to to my mom and to Pam so yay I have one more package that is Disney inspired t-shirt mail and then I think my final two packages are both pin mail so if you've been missing Disney pin content that's coming up after I after I show you this this shirt came from my friend Megan over at the Etsy shop magic plus and she does size inclusive Disney inspired t-shirts and I've shown everyone many times my Eeyore shirt that says it's okay to not be okay and Megan has decided to kind of keep up with the Winnie the Pooh and Friends mental health theme so in addition to her adorable Eeyore t-shirt she just came out with her first piglet t-shirt which ironically or maybe not so ironically um, I think also is perfect for the times that we are going through right now and I love the color of this it's like kind of a dusty blue and it's got piglets little silhouette on there and it says believe in yourself you're stronger than you think believe in yourself you're stronger than you think I don't know if there's a more perfect Disney themed t-shirt out there for what we are all going through right now but I love this little piglet number I'll be wearing this a lot as well over the coming weeks you know to the grocery store taking a dog for a walk staying six feet away from people <laughs> um but i really do love the message of this and i also have a coupon code for megan's shop it's becca 25 and you can save 25 percent off her whole store um again not sponsored other than she wanted to share this with me and share a code with you and this showed up in my p.o box and um and i really love it so thank you megan and can't wait to put this on Next up I have this cute little blue mailer from my friend Robin. Robin from the Disney YouTube community. Her YouTube channel is Oh Hello Robin, although I do think her channel is on a bit of a hiatus right now. She is a fellow Disney pin lover and she sent me this a few weeks ago and it says um, just open this on the back so I've already opened it um, and I know it's inside but I wanted to share it with you because I just thought it was so cute but it says Becca, a little card and I love the card that she 
chose for me because it is a scene from Pinocchio. It's the artwork from um, Pinocchio, and it's when Pinocchio is underground. I think it's before he is swallowed by the whale. He's his little donkey tail is tied down by a rock, and he's kind of trudging along the bottom of the seafloor, and he's got his uh, donkey ears, and he's just left Pleasure Island. And it's kind of not a very often thought of scene, but I have said a few times on my channel that I rewatched Pinocchio um, relatively recently, and the animation in this movie, uh, for being hand drawn, is I think I think it's the best. I think it's actually the best animation of any Disney movie in terms of the ones that are are hand drawn. It is gorgeous and I also love all of the themes of the story as well. Anyway, the note from Robin says, Becca, good luck with your epic pin sales and decluttering. I am decluttering this little pin to you because it fits with your collection. Hugs and best wishes to you, love Robin, uh, from Oh Hello Robin. I'll link to Robin's channel down below. Even though I don't think she's putting out videos at the moment, she has like a bajillion Disney pin related videos that you could go back and watch because I'm sure many of us are binge watching watching not only Netflix and, and Amazon Prime, but also tons of YouTube. So if you want your Disney pin fix, um, go check out Robin's channel because she has a lot of pin content, um, just like I do, and just like many of my, um, my YouTube buddies do. So I wanna show you the little pin that she sent me. And I'm really excited about this because this actually is, um, of all the things I've decluttered, a collection that I am really wanting to complete, which is the Lion King Hidden Mickey Paws. The Lion King Hidden, Hidden Mickey Paw paw print collections and um this is one of i think two that i was still missing and it's the little simba paw and it's got the little hidden mickey here these came out in the parks a couple years ago i want to say 2016 or 2017 um but they're just really cool looking sorry for the hangnail my nails are a mess so thank you so much robin i am downsizing my collection by a lot more on that in a future video um, but this one will be a, a treasured piece of my collection. I love the detail. It's just such a good looking pin. My final magic mail for this video is coming from overseas and it is from one of my favorite fantasy pin designers and kind of like small Disney maker artist people. It's from Madame Katzfer. You may have seen her items on other channels or on Instagram. I know I, I discovered her stuff on Instagram and she sent me a package kind of out of the blue last year, like maybe six months ago. And it was like beautiful and amazing. And I was not expecting to receive another one. And lo and behold, this just kind of randomly showed up um, in my PO box and I'm really excited. She did send me a note. It says, Dear Becca, I'm sorry to hear you're leaving behind an era of magic halls and mails, but I'm excited to see what the future brings. So far you have decluttered a part of your pin collection and I now have a bigger in search of list because of it. Haha. Ha. Please don't hate me for this package. Of course not. It's personalized, but if anything doesn't make it to your collection, you can always give it or traded away. Um, I will definitely do that. I'm so excited to see what she sent me. Her stuff is gorgeous and like I've said in this video and in many videos past, I am in the middle of a major downsize but um, I'm sure I'm going to find some doozies in this box and I can't wait to see what's in here. This first thing that I'm pulling out actually does not look like a pin. It's, it's in a, we'll see what it is. Oh, I think it's a mug. She does things besides pins but it's like mostly pins but other things too. And, oh, oh, this is beautiful. It's beautiful and it's springy and it's delicate and dainty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a beautiful Lady and the Tramp mug. So you've got Tramp on one side with some little flowers and Lady with like tulips and maybe some roses, at least tulips, maybe, I think maybe it's all tulips um, on this side. And it's just like such a beautiful little dainty coffee cup. I will treasure this for sure. I'm obsessed with dogs of all kinds, especially Disney dogs and Lady is, is one of the Disney dogs that most reminds me of my own dog, Molly. So, oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you. And then I think we have a bunch of pins and they're all individually wrapped in bubble wrap and a lot of them have these little pouches. So I'm gonna have to maybe do some editing so this video doesn't become super long of just me like opening packaging, but let's see what we have. The first pin I'm pulling out, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I believe these are all of her own design, um, but we have Wendy and Peter Pan. This is a fantasy pin. Um, on the back it says, Peter Pan and Wendy Darling, Ellie 50. Gorgeous. Here comes another. Oh my gosh, this is, 
them. These are gorgeous. Okay, this is definitely a, a unique pin and will fit my collection really well. So we have Wendy Darling actually holding Tinkerbell in front of Big Ben. And I love Peter Pan pins that involve Tinkerbell and also Big Ben and also you can fly in like the, the London night sky. This is so beautiful. And this is called the Graceful Profiles Collection. This one is also limited edition of 50. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. And another one, is this gonna be Peter Pan also? It is, oh my gosh. I haven't seen these um, before. Um, so I have been kind of a little absent on social media, if I'm being honest, but um, we have another Peter Pan pin. And this one is Peter Pan and Tiger Lily. And you see Tiger Lily in so few pins. I think she's easier to find in fan-made pins than in official Disney pins. So this is a really gorgeous one as well. Obviously kind of goes hand in hand with this one. It's like a series Peter Pan and his ladies because um, the ladies do love Peter Pan, it seems. And the next one feels like maybe it's another one of those round profile ones. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is not Peter Pan. This is something that's like perfect for me. And um, it's the Aristocats family, the whole family. All of these pins seem like they're limited edition of um, 50, 50 ish. So you've got Duchess and O'Malley to lose Marie and Berlioz at the bottom. And they are on the rooftops of Paris. You can see very faint in the background, the Eiffel Tower. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I can't believe people make these. This one here, I think is the final one in one of these little velvet pouches. Oh, this is very springy. Um, this is a themed portraits collection and it is Thumper from Bambi. I love all the Disney animals and I love springy things. It's such a springy time of year. Um, and I'm really glad that even though we're kind of stuck staying home, we can still go outside and get fresh air. Oh, so there's Thumper and he's got some little like thistles. Is that what they're called? Like thistle flat? I don't know what I'm talking about. I know nothing about foliage, but this one's kind of a pin on pin and it's really gorgeous. And I'm still going on these pins. This one actually has two pins on backer cards in here. These are both Bambi as well. So this one is another thumper. Here you can see her name, Madam Catsper with uh, three R's. And then the website is Madam Catsper at bigcartel.com. I think that's where you can shop her, her designs and her things, but I'll link to that and also her Instagram down below. And then look, the next one is Bambi. He's a little bit bigger, obviously, than Thumper. These are gorgeous pins. I'm so excited. I'm very honored that um, you thought to send me a package, especially from overseas. It's That's not cheap at all. Now this in here does not look like a pin. I know she does like mirrors and compacts and things. I think this might be one of those. Um, but it features Marie from the Aristocats. Marie in pink. It almost looks like a macaron, the actual um, compact. And I think it's just a mirror. Yep, it's a double mirror on the inside. There's my um, there's my camera. <laughs> so cute, it's magnetic, very adorable. Marie for, you know, a Disney kitty like me. I'm also seeing in her package two keychains, um, and these are both really cute and clever. The first one is um, one of my latest obsessions, and I think many people's obsession. You've got Baby Yoda on a keychain. I love Baby Yoda. I have so few Baby Yoda things because I haven't been purchasing anything. In fact, I think this might be the first actual Baby Yoda thing that I that I have, period. He's so cute, though. I, I love the Mandalorian. I wish, since we're all kind of on lockdown right now, that Disney could release the second season of Mandalorian, although I, it's probably still in production, so that's just a pipe dream. <laughs> and then we have one of my favorite Toy Story characters, Characters Rex, and it's kind of a Toy Story Jurassic Park um, mashup. It's the lost toy uh, Jurassic Rex. Really super cute. I love it. I love I love Rex. He's he's just so neurotic. There are two more items. One is a Madame Catsburr sticker pack, which I will open and show you in a second. And then this one, which is wrapped up really cool. Um, she said in her note that there was a pin that was like broken, and so she turned it into a compact mirror. And I'm getting a better look at it now. And oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Um, many of you know that I have an obsession with Alice in Wonderland. I'm obsessed with so many of these movies. Um, but what I love about Alice is like not any one character, but just the whole aesthetic of the movie. It's just so colorful and creative and imaginative and like mysterious and beautiful. And this is an Alice pin. I think it was one of her like profiles that she turned into a compact mirror. Wait till you see the design of this. So we have Alice 
and it's a rare thing to see on a design because it's the caterpillar, but it's after he has turned um, into a butterfly. And there's very few pins or merchandise with the caterpillar to begin with, and there's even fewer with him as a butterfly. So I love this. This is so unique and, and special and pretty, and she's turned it into like a very fancy looking, high-end looking compact mirror. Ugh. This is a keepsake. This is just magical, so thank you. I love it. And last but not least, let's dig into this little sticker pack. I love the little packaging. It says, Madam Catsburr sticker pack, and it's got two little kitty cat balloons. I'm just gonna open this up, pull out the stack of stickers, and we'll just go through them real quick, one by one. I have no idea what to expect. So we've got Lady and the Tramp, and then Tramp, and he's kind of framed in his leash and collar. Oh, what's this dog's name? I don't know. I'm gonna embarrass myself. <laughs> there's Lady. Oh, and there's the Lost Toy. So it's a sticker version of that keychain. And Sleeping Figaro. And Alice with the golden afternoon flowers. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Roger Rabbit and Jessica Rabbit. I didn't know she did any Roger Rabbit stuff. There's definitely like a niche of Roger Rabbit lovers. I've been wanting to rewatch this for various reasons, but I'm not gonna say here um, that not, there's nothing wrong with them, but it's just a long story. But there's two of these, I love those. And then you've got Stitch and the little duckling, so cute. And um, Duchess playing the harp with the little siblings all around from the Aristocats. And Cinderella with the soap bubbles. I love this scene too, another iconic Disney scene. And I think that's all of them. These are gorgeous. And I, I bet you can buy these little packs um, on her site. So I'm gonna have to go take a look. I'm not buying anything this year, so I'm very grateful to receive the gift. Um, but what a great idea. Her stickers are great. Thank you very much, Madam Catsbur. You're kind of a mysterious um, and magical entity uh, as far as I'm concerned, but I'm so honored to get a package from you and everything is gorgeous as always. I'm like fangirling out over that package, so um, so thank you very much. Wow. All right, everybody, that is the end of Magic Mail opening for today. I hope it was a welcome diversion from whatever craziness might be going on in your life. It was definitely a welcome diversion from some of the things that are going on in my life. Uh, as I said, we are still preparing our house to move, even though there's very little movement out in the world. So I'm not sure what my rate of video production and upload is going to be. I want to still keep filming, especially now that we're kind of all on lockdown and looking for things to keep us busy and looking for positive messages and, and happy thoughts. I want to keep filming as much as I can. Can't make any promises, but I hope to be more present than I have been um, in the past couple of months at the very least. The good news is I'm on a no-buy and this makes it really easy for me to not go shopping So that's one one good thing to come from this whole situation, but truly in all seriousness I hope you will use this kind of downtime to take care of yourselves and your families and to turn off screens and go outside or to like do a puzzle or pick up an actual physical book and read it or get caught up on your spring cleaning or find ways to work out at home or new and creative ways of accomplishing your goals. I hope we can all kind of come together to be there for ourselves and for each other both in our family units and for kind of all of us on like a global scale. It's a strange time in the world to be sure, but I do think there are silver linings to be found. And I think it's just a matter of staying focused on those things and looking for the good. So with that, um, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below. Really tell me anything. I wanna know how you're weathering the, uh, the storm out there and um, kind of if you've had to cancel your travel plans or what you're looking forward to about the downtime, how you're making the most of this any of those comments would be very welcome down below and i'll be back as soon as i can with some more fun disney and other content for you until then have a magical day wash your hands don't touch your face and i'll see you real soon bye guys Mwah.